Bro, um, I know it was a decision you weren't happy with. As I said to you earlier, like, I know both you and Neil. I love the two I think um, the first round, for me, Neil, uh, done well. The, the other two rounds, I, can, I did have you uh, like doing well in the, the both, but this is boxing, man, and I don't, I don't want to be disheartened with it. How are you feeling? That's why I'm not gutted. I've trained, trained fucking loads for this fight. I'm as fit as I've been for any any fight I've had, and it happens. Yeah, it's boxing that it happens. I definitely feel like I worked harder the second round, third round, definitely mine. But the first round, I'd give it to him, but no way I see it as a decision on his half. No way. And you've got you, the whole crowd here as well. They, they, I mean, they love you and your brother. What she's grown up is, is even the first shows that I came. I'm going to check back the interviews that we've done a few years ago. Um, yeah, you'll see Neil again. You want to see him again? He said to me after it, he said, you can get me on my show. He was like... So I'll be at that. That's uh, in May, is it? Oh, I'm ready for whenever. I'm, what I want to do this year is fight whenever I can. I could be out next Friday uh, in Carlisle. I'm I'm fit enough for it. I'll fight whenever I want. This I'm a boxer. Eh? This is what I meant to do. I meant to be fighting all the time. I'll have my day off the night. I'm a wee bit of chocolate, and then right back in it on Monday. So what's um, what was the script with, with last year's the with the national development championships or the elite championships? So you... I got entered at 51 kilos, and I'd been training since the 4th of January. Started my diet. Fucking sorry. I'd been training right, I'd been tra I was training my total arse off and then I got entered, nobody was at fifty one kilos apart from a boy that was two thousand and six and then Brandon Grant which was a senior and they wouldn't let me box anyone because they weren't in my age, which I think's a total shambles because I boxed uh, what's his name, Brandon Grant. I boxed him before on his show and I think it was Lloyd I don't know his second name, but he was 51 kilos as well, and I would have happily fought him. But now nah, they wouldn't let it because of an age gap, which I don't see. Why Do you think the tournaments are a bit unfair when it comes to that? I mean, um, obviously I was streaming the elites who box in Scotland. Some of the elite boxers were travelling yep. for last year, so last year's winners. Sometimes I think it's good to see new, fresh faces. But I mean, like you, you want to be in that these competitions. I would love to be in them. I wouldn't win all of them. But I've I've not really had the chance because no, no one's at my weight. It's I was heartbreaking. Eh? But see, when I got told that no one was at the way, I was absolutely gutted. Because all I've been thinking about is winning the Scottish and winning these tournaments and going away. So now, because I've not been able to fight in the Scottish this year, I just want to fight as much as I can on any show. I don't care what show, I want to fight. Are you looking to maybe go down the pathway programme and then represent Scotland and then travel with them? Or are you, what, what's, what is your plans with, with the amateur scene? M my plan is to fight as much as I can this year and then... See, I'm 18 at the end of the year, I can turn pro if I want to. I want to have as much experience as I can in the amateurs. And now, I don't really mind about going to the Scottish and that. Stevie's, Stevie's my coach, I want, to, I want to stay with Stevie. So, I'd rather as, have as much experience as I can with him and then just go pro. I think what's going to happen with you is that the, because of these tournaments, maybe a lot of people aren't going to know who you are. Yeah, because and, you're getting to fight now. And the people that yeah, they know you are just waiting for you yeah. to just come on and explode. And, um, and I know it's frustrating and it's, it, is, it is unfair as well. Um, so the rest of the year, you'd want to box as much as you can, turn 18, and then are you going to think about pro? Is it too early yet? Uh, I, nah, I don't... You've got a nice week camp up north, um, but... You got a nice week, a group of boxers, pro fancy. boxers. Yeah, I definitely fancy. I'd rather just have as much experience as I can with Stevie. Stay with Stevie, box as much as I can, then as soon as he wants me to do what he says and go pro, that's what I want to do. Like. That's good, trust that He knows the game inside, yeah, do it, exactly. isn't it? I've been with him since I was five years old, and I couldn't see myself boxing or fighting with anyone else. Um, Will I get any shout outs to anybody? Keep me spot. Uh, my mum and my dad, eh? my mum does everything for me, she's an absolute legend, I couldn't do it without her. Uh, and my brother as well, my brother's just, he's the man, like, I love him. And then obviously the coaches, Stevie, Danny, Allen, Ginge, they've done so much for me, I've been training my arse off and it never went my way, but I'm happy, I'm happy. Thank, Thank you, my man, and I'll see you good soon. Good seeing you, good to you. Thank you.